Hello everyone, welcome to episode 2 of my series on running a bucket server. Um, before we go any further, you know, I want to remind everybody I am a novice. I've only been doing this for about a year. And um, I've run into a lot of mistakes here and there. So hopefully I can teach you a little bit about the, mis you know, the unfortunate things that I've suffered and you won't have to go through the same stuff. Um, today we're going to talk about, uh, you know, last time we set up a basic server, a bucket server, and um, now we want to go ahead and add some plugins to the bucket server. So we need to go to bucket, um, to the bucket dev site, so look for that. Um, should be using Google, Google's the best way to find things. Yeah, here's a little trick guys, right up here it says server mods, those are your plugins. Now, if you don't know the difference, there's you know client mods and server mods. Server mods I like to call plugins so there's no confusion. Usually if I talk about a mod, I mean something that um, the server has to have and so does the player. With these plugins we're going to use, uh, the player doesn't have to have anything special in their Minecraft client in order for it to work. So right on here, they're going to show you some of the newest plugins that are out. Um, you can go search and form as well. Uh, what we're going to look at here is we're going to look just at the different plugins and decide, you know, what makes a good plugin, what makes a bad plugin, how you download them, where you put them in your server, basic stuff. Okay. Um, got a few here. What is it? Doctor. Um, let's see what this is all about, Doctor. Plugin designed to heal, feed, cleanse, or rescue a player. Any type of command. Yeah, not a terrible thing, but it doesn't do a whole lot. This is, you know, this is a new plugin someone's trying out. Maybe they'll improve it. Maybe it'll get better. Um, here's one called Tardis. This is a, a really good plugin that I have on my server actually. There are two versions of this. This is the one that I use, the one by, uh, is it Eccentric? Um, anyway, uh, this is pretty cool. You know, much like Doctor Who, it creates a, uh, a little vehicle that you travel through um, to different places with. Um, it looks like a police box, a blue police box, a European and uh, British style police box on the outside. and. Um, is really big on the inside and you can make it whatever way you want. When you pick up a plugin, make sure you check to see um, what versions it's for. Like right here, this one's for 1.42, which is pretty good. That's um, pretty close to update, although um, up to date, but uh, they just switched to 1.44. Uh, the Minecraft numbers update very, very quickly, so if you're new to all this, that's something you got to keep track of. People will want you to update it as quickly as you can so that they can get on the server because they're going to automatically update their client. They pretty much will always do that. Let's see what Vertigo is all about. Sounds interesting. Flips your vision upside down. Um, okay. That's all it seems to do. Flip your vision upside down. Stop your vision from being normal. Oh, I don't know. That doesn't sound that cool. <laughs> anyway, um, so this is one of the best spots to find plugins. Is right here on the um, bucket dev site um, under server mods. <coughs> um, let's take a look at. We're gonna grab um, a plugin, and I really think. Oh, why is it doing that? Stop that. Really worth having is essentials. It'll give you a whole lot of basic commands and other things that you're probably going to need. Um, okay, see, this is good to show you. See, nothing came up, even though I put in the exact name of the plugin. Switch this right here, the scope, to uh, projects only. Hit search again. And there we go. Okay, now I'm getting some stuff that is closer to what I'm looking for. This is the one I'm looking for right there essentials. Okay, now Essentials has quite a few different parts. Unfortunately, it's not up to date. 
Um, so we'll look for a dev build. This is also something to keep track of is sometimes they have recommended builds, which right here is a 1.32. And sometimes they have dev builds. You see download dev pre bleeding edge builds. Okay, now if you can't read this stuff very well, what we're looking at here is this is um, the Essentials Extras. Those are like extra components. I want Essentials Full Zip. That's going to give me everything. So download it. Seems like I already have a version in here somewhere. I apologize again. I have not cleared out my downloads. I have a whole bunch of torrents, as you can see, and <laughs> junk, so sorry. Um... So we'll go grab Essentials Full 1. Let's just go ahead and extract it right in here. Essentials Full 1. See, there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, I'm going to grab it all for now, but I don't know if we're, we're going to use all of it. I, I'll try to show you all that stuff on a video all about Essentials in a little bit, but um, not this video. I'm just showing you how to place a plugin into your world. And where did I put my world? Okay, bucket 101. Let me move that over here so I don't lose it. This is the server we made on the last um, video. We're going to go into plugins. And we're going to just take the stuff that I grabbed and we're going to paste it in there. Boom. It's that easy. Now, let's run our server. If it wants to run, come on. Okay, now if you go into the plugins folder, you're going to see that this is going to fill with some folders here in just a second. Or it should. Yep, here they come. Okay. And um, now we have quite a few things in there that are going to make our game a little different. In fact, uh, I'm not even going to go into the server and show you that right now because it's not really that important. I'm going to show you all that stuff in the um, episode on on essentials. Basically, all I wanted to show you was um, how to find plugins. Um, a little bit about you know how to decide which ones are good. One thing you can check on is you know how many features does it have? Um, how often is it downloaded? Um, but usually you can get a feel for the quality of the plugin by, you know, whether they have a wiki page, whether they have some um, little icons and stuff like this one does. <clears throat> it also helps if they keep them up to date. I wish Essentials was um, completely up to date, but 1.32 is still the recommended build of um, Bucket, so can't get too upset about people not having um, plugins out for it just yet uh, for 1.42 um, but you know everybody just keeps getting further and further behind which is quite frustrating because you know Minecraft is now at 1.44 so you'd like everything to be up to date to 1.44 but it, it just isn't so you gotta try to keep track of all that stuff keep your plugins up to date try not to run too many of them because they'll um, lag out your server you, know, you can only have so many depending on um, how good your CPU is and such. So, um, I think I'm going to leave it at that. Um, this short sweet, just, you know, have fun looking at plugins, test some of them out. Um, we'll go over individual plugins on some further uh, episodes coming up. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this, uh, this episode. Uh, see you later. Why is the video still going? <laughs>